In today's video, we will be going over how to download and install Catlink Digital Factory 11. First, head over to catlink.com, hover over the products, and click on Digital Factory. Click on Free Trial, then scroll down and select Direct to Film. The download should start immediately. There are two ways to download Digital Factory. The second way is through DTFStation.com. On the site, go to the search bar and type in Digital Factory. Click on Digital Factory 11. Click on 15 day free trial. The download will start automatically. Once downloaded, open the file. Double click to open. Make sure Direct to Film version 11 Direct to Film is selected. This is the version that your confirmation code will work for. Select Next. There will be additional content that needs to be downloaded, so give it some time. If you're having trouble with downloading Digital Factory, make sure you have a solid internet connection, make sure that there is no firewall, and last, if you have a VPN, make sure it is off. Once complete, click Start, then select the desired language, then click OK. Follow along on the screen to proceed through the installation process. Now click Next. Accept the terms and conditions, then continue to click Next until installation begins. Once complete, prepare to restart your computer. Then click Finish. These are the recommended system requirements. Now open the recently installed Digital Factory 11. Here you can set the display units to inches or centimeters. We will set it to inches. We will leave decimals to two. Give it a moment to load. In the queue wizard, click next. Next, we are going to install the printer driver. Click install printer. Type prestige. Choose the printer you will print with. We are using the Prestige A3 Plus R, so we will select the Prestige A3 DTF V2. It would be the same driver if you're using the Prestige A3 Plus. Make sure Select New Printer Package is selected. Click Next. Package will install. Click the drop down menu and select your connected printer that is connected via USB. If your printer does not appear, then it is either not connected properly, it is turned off, or the computer is not reading the printer. Click Next. Click Finish. You may get this pop-up. Click Allow Access. If your printer was not being read by the computer via USB when you were installing Digital Factory, you could do this by going to Queue, Manage Queues, and here you can select your USB port and install it. The top right corner will let you know how many days are left in your trial. But if you purchase your printer that included a Digital Factory subscription, you can input your activation code that you received from the place of purchase by going to Help, then Register. Here you can fill out the activation code and other relevant information. Alright, that is it for today's video. Thanks for watching.